Hello everyone, this is Sorry Majesty. Welcome to a brand new book reading called The Return of Sorry Majesty. Alright, let's get started. Fifteen years have passed since the defeat of Hades. The crafters we once knew have retired from the realm and are now residing on Earth. The only one left on the Minecraft realm is Zarin, yet there is a new force at work. Bob, Gerald, said Zarin. I'm heading out for the day. Okay, Zarin, said Bob. Take care, said Gerald. Zarin took his bag and left the castle. He walked a couple thousand of blocks to his house. When he got there, he saw someone waiting for him. The man had glowing white eyes, and he knew who he was. Hill Brian, Zarin said. What are you doing here? Hill Brian looked at the ground, then gave him a tablet. Zarin saw a video and saw an unknown creature destroying new crafters bases. That was taken just yesterday. Herobrine told him. A total of 20 new crafters bases were, are completely gone. What do we do? Zarin asked. I believe it is time we wake up Sorin. Herobrine said. He is not fully healed. After the last war, Zarin exclaimed. If he uses all of his powers, he will die. He's the only one that can stop this monster, Herobrine said. Zarin looked at the monster on the video and understood. He grabbed the handheld portal and went to the outskirts of the Minecraft realm. When he got to the outskirts, he went to a bunker. He opened it with a key card and went to the cryo chambers. He pressed the button and looked at the only one that was closed. We need you, Soaring. He said. Soaring opened his eyes and looked around. I'm not dead? He asked. How is this possible? I saved you when you were moments from dying. Soaring told him. I put you in a cryo chamber. There's a new monster that needs destroying. What year is it? He asked. 2039, Soaring told him. I've been asleep for 15 years, Thorin exclaimed. Who's left from this team? Everyone's retired, Thorin said. They're all on Earth. Thorin looked at the crowd chamber with sorrow. If I have been gone for 15 years, he said, then there is no need for me to be here. That's where you're wrong, Thorin told him. Thorin showed him the video of the creature killing new crafters. Soaring stared at it in shock. How is this possible? He asked. There should be no such creature. My guess is that it was made in a lab, Zarin said. At this rate, the creature is killing 100 crafters every day. We need the old team, Zarin told him. They'll need to come out of retirement. They're not going to believe you're alive, Zarin said. Zarin opened a portal to Earth, and they went in. The retired crafters all gathered at the hotel where they were 15 years ago. They all celebrated the defeat of Hades. Can you believe that Hades is finally gone? Grian asked. Like an enormous shadow being brought to, into the light, Mumble told him. Your stream Eve and Tess Steve were in deep conversation. What do you mean the scary survival world is gone? Your stream asked. Ever since Zarin gave me and my brother a new world. Eve told him. The realm vanished without a trace. We've been trying to search for it, but nothing has come up. That means you're both are free, said Eve Stream. Eve shook her head. No, Eve said. There's another creature that's been freed. One where its bite can turn you. Eve Stream looked at her. Hades' final motive, Eve Stream exclaimed. Eve nodded, then turned around. They saw a portal opened up. They saw Sar Zarin come out of it. Exuma walked up to him. Zarin, what's the meaning of your arrival? He asked. Minecraft realm is in danger, he told them. We need you to come back. We're retired, Eurostream said. We've been retired for five years. I have something that can change your mind. Zarin told him. He turned around and Zarin came out of the portal. Everyone stared in shock at what he looked like. He had changed into a warrior. How are you alive? Exuma asked him. 
trial chamber, Thorin told him. Thorin looked at everyone. All right, listen up, he told everyone. We have an unknown creature that has been killing a hundred new crafters every day. My calculations are correct. I've been carrying them right around the downfall of the scary survival realm. Eve, mind telling us what happened there? Everyone turned to Eve. Hades created a werewolf, Eve said. It was trapped in a cell, so I wouldn't escape. Now that that realm is gone, it's been set free. Dorian and Zarin looked at each other. Brother. She didn't have anything to do with the monster, Zorin told him. She should be let off the hook. Zorin held up his hand in silence. Eve, by the rules of Minecraft and Earth, he said, you must tell me how to eliminate it. It can only be eliminated by silver bullets, she said. We should make them here on Earth and travel to Minecraft. No, Zorin yelled. You will stay here. You've done enough damage. Eve went back to test Steve. Eli Stream saw, saw her tear up and rushed to Soaring with a sword in his hand. Mind telling me what the heck that was about? He asked. Soaring didn't turn to face him. Eli Stream gripped his sword tightly. You know, for a dead guy, he told him, you're really throwing us under the bus. Fall back in line, soldier, Thorin yelled. I won't ask again. I don't take orders from you, Eurostream yelled. Eurostream charged and swung his sword. Thorin turned and caught it. Big mistake, Thorin growled. Eurostream looked into Thorin's eyes, saw they were a deeper red. Thorin pushed Eurostream with immense power and took the sword out of his hands. Eurostream looked up and saw Soaring break the sword in half. That was the spirit sword! Eurostream exclaimed. Soaring collapsed and yelled in pain. Everyone saw, looked and saw a full moon. Zarin realized what was going on. Everyone run! He yelled. Soaring was turning into a werewolf. His senses were heightened. He could sense their fear and their blood flowing. He saw Eve and her brother running into an imp abandoned factory. Perfect time to kill. Eve closed the doors and rushed to her brother. I never thought Soren was the werewolf, as Steve said. That's impossible, Eve said. He's not the werewolf, unless he killed the original. They saw the door get pushed and heard a low growl. They saw the black wolf storm past them. It lunged at them and growled. It was then blinded by a white light. Light. Soren, stop. Zarin yelled, look at what you're doing. Control the beast inside of you. Remember who you are. Werewolf Soren looked at them, then closed it up, its eyes. And then transformed back into Soren. They rushed to him. He was feverish and shaking. Give me some clothes. Zor Zarin told Eve and Testy. Eve and Testy rushed to, uh, out and went to the nearest store. Zarin looked at Soren. I've forgotten that I was bitten by a werewolf. Zorin said, that's the reason I have red eyes. Save your strength. Zorin said, I think I'm the reason I killed those new crafters. Zorin told him, you're in the cryo chamber, Zorin said. There has to be another, one that has no control. Even Test Steve came back and gave Zorin a new set of clothes. They got back to the hotel where everyone stood up and looked, they looked at Zorin. You okay? Zoom asked. Zorin nodded. Dress and False gave him a hug. Tango and Impulse gave him a device to know when he is about to transform. He looked at everyone. Why are you all doing this? He asked. Because you're family, Green told him, and we don't turn our back on family. Doreen caught his eye on EUS Stream. EUS Stream walked up to him. I'm sorry for breaking the spirit sword, Doreen told him. It was a fake, EUS Stream said. The real one is locked up in a vault. Thorin looked at everyone and felt his werewolf sight coming out. He controlled it with every ounce of his strength. We need to figure out who the other werewolf is in the Minecraft realm, he told everyone. What do we have on the first werewolf? Eve took out a book and showed it to Sori. This is all the tests of the first werewolf, she said. 
Hades had a reason to believe that he was dangerous to be kept out. Therefore, he imprisoned it. When you came into the scares of Bible realm, you killed it, yet you were bitten. My guess is that the Mycroft's realm moon didn't work on the werewolf curse. Thus, you needed the Earth's moon. The werewolf inside of you bonded with you to team up to protect everyone. Everyone else, everyone stared in shock. How is that possible? You asked your mask. When he transform every full moon? Eve shook her head. His werewolf is where he can transform at will. Eve told him. Soaring, show him. Soaring took a deep breath and transformed into his werewolf form. It wasn't the normal fully black wolf form, but a black and silver wolf. Instead of blood red eyes, it had an electric blue. The wolf then spoke. I am the spirit that resides in your friend you call Soaring, the wolf said. I am the original wolf protector of the Minecraft realm. You must have approached the wolf. Are you here to help us? he asked. The wolf nodded. My spirit needed to be awakened. The wolf said, I feel that my brother has laid too much bloodshed in the Minecraft realm. He must be stopped. Zarin gripped his sword tightly. Wolf spirit, he said, how long are you going to reside with my brother? We are bonded for life, the wolf said. I am a protector, therefore I needed someone purer for my spirit. Wolf sniffed the air. Demons, the wolf growled. Soaring, we must transform again. Use your magic. The wolf transformed back into Soaring, and Soaring grabbed his magic wolf book. Corrupt spirits at 12 o'clock, he yelled. Everyone armed them themselves, and Soaring spoke in Latin. Barricades rose up as corrupt spirits charged the hotel. Soaring summoned the spirit sword and rushed into battle. With this wolf spirit inside of him, he was a lot more powerful. The corrupt spirits fell tenfold. He was then shot in the back by one of them. Keep fighting, the wolf spirits told him. There's only a few more to go. He saw his friend struggling with the remaining. He leapt in the air and thrust his sword downwards. Instead of a shockwave, the wolf spirit came out and destroyed the last of the corrupt spirits. Everyone got up and stared at Soaring. You are way overpowered, Exuma said. I don't think we can help you. Zarin looked at Exuma. We need you guys, Zarin told him. We're retired, Exuma said. There's no way we can fight like this again. The wolf spirit inside Soaring growled. Soaring transformed and the wolf lunged at Exuma. How dare you leave the Minecraft realm in shambles. The wolf yelled, I have, I'll have you know, while you were all drinking juices with little umbrellas here, Zarin tried to protect new crafters from impending doom. Zarin and I were kept in a crowd chamber. It is now time for you all to come back and face the music. Everyone stared, stood frozen in fear. They knew they had made a spirit angry. The wolf transformed back into Zarin. Zarin had the same look in his eyes. I would listen to him, Zorin said sternly. We don't have much, much time. Scar walked towards Zorin nervously. Can we trust you? He asked. Yes, Zorin told him. The wolf spirit inside of me transforms me in battle. His brother will meet him in war. The crafters looked at each other and nodded in agreement. We will fight, Zuma said. This will be our last war. Then we will officially retire from the Minecraft realm. We will need someone who can look after newcomers, Zorin told him. Told them. Zorin can look after them, Zuma said. After all, we trained him to know the ins and outs of the world. Zorin and Zorin looked at each other. Zorin opened a portal to the Minecraft realm. Them, Zuma, Stress, False, Scar, Mumbo, Grian, Tango, Etho, Impulse, Captain Sparkles, Squid, and Dan faced the portal with new weapons to face the werewolf 
that was terrorizing the realm. Let's save our realm, Thorin told them. Together, they charged. They came out of the portal into a completely changed terrain of their realm. Zuma looked at the flowers and noticed they were what they were. Don't touch them, he said sternly. They're wither roses. We'll die if a drop of their toxins gets on our skin. Crafters, Thorin told them, put on your advanced armor. Crafters put on their silver armor and scanned the area. They saw dead bodies in a tent trunk radius. Thorin walked to one and examined it. This one was freshly killed, he told them. The werewolf's nearby. Wolf Spear growled. What is it? He mumbled. My brother is watching from the fort ahead. Wolf Spear growled. He gets sense I'm here. Thorin straightened up. He's nearby. Thorin told the crafters. The wolf Spear is being sensed by the werewolf. We're going to have to put a protective barrier around a five trunk area. How do we do that? Stress asked him. Place a wall around so that the werewolf can't get through, he told them. Use the silver to cover the top and the sides. Dig a moat and have silver in the moat. We'll build houses to live for the, and to, for the time being. Crafters nodded and went to work. Sorin and Zarin got to work on their house. Zarin gathered spruce logs and walked over to Sorin. Do you think we could pull it off? He asked him. Thorin heaved a sigh and looked at him. I don't think, I don't even know if they're capable of killing a supernatural creature. He told him, Hades was their nightmare, but I fear that the nightmare has got to worse for them. As if they cannot get out. No, I fear that I have to do this alone. That's suicide, brother. Thorin told him, we asked them to help us. They swore that they would save this realm. Look at them, Thorin yelled. They're way over their heads. I know they're going to be frozen in fear. That's going to get them killed. Luckily, the walls are being built right now. They saw that the wall was complete, and the crafters approached them. Thorin examined the wall. It's in good shape, Thorin told them. The werewolf won't be able to get in. Use your materials to build your houses. I'm going to face the werewolf. What about us? Zuma asked. I thought we were going to face him together. I now discovered that if you all faced him, Thorin told them, then all of you will die. Dress cautiously approached Thorin. What would we do? She asked. Zorin will open the portal again. Thorin told them, you guys will return to Earth and live your retirement and never speak of this realm again. Zarin opened the portal, and everyone walked into the portal, leaving Sorin and Zarin left. Zarin closed the portal and looked at Sorin. Sorin had tears in his eyes and turned away from the portal. We need to make the weapon, he told Zarin. Grab the silver to make the bullets. Zarin nodded and modded the crafting table to make the silver bullets. Thorin made a shotgun and tested it on the dummies. Worked very well, plus the silver was a multiple of silver. This silver would seep into the werewolf's bloodstream and kill it instantly. Rest up, Zarin. Thorin told him, we leave at nightfall. They woke up to a distant howl from the forest from the north. Thorin grabbed his shotgun and heard the wolf's spirit inside him growl. My brother is here, the wolf spirit told him. He sees the wall and knows that it's protected by silver. They rushed to the upper wall and saw the werewolf. It paced around and snapped, snapped its jaws fiercely at Sorin. They both locked eyes and Sorin saw hatred in it. Sorin aimed his shotgun and fired. The werewolf dodged and charged the wall. Sorin saw that one part of the wall didn't have any silver. But the moat had plenty of it. Zarin saw this as well and grabbed the bucket and jumped down. He grabbed the silver and Zarin hoisted him up. The werewolf latched onto Zarin and bit him. 
Zarin yelled in pain and dumped a bucket onto the werewolf. The werewolf yelped in agony and ran off. Zarin dumped the silver onto the outer edge of the wall and went to examine the bite on Zarin. The wolf spirit inside Zarin cursed. The bite cursed him, the wolf spirit told him. By next nightfall, he will be a werewolf. Another wolf spirit will take over him. Isn't there anything we can do? Thorin asked. We'll have to kill him, the wolf spirit said. Thorin hung his head and grabbed a silver knife. Zarin looked at it. I know it's for the best brother, he said. Thorin raised his knife, but the wolf spirit stopped him. Thorin looked and saw another wolf spirit approaching Zarin. Who are you? Thorin asked. The wolf spirit chuckled. Hello, little brother. The wolf spirit said, I see that you found someone to help with dealing the evil that terrorized our lands. Thorin's wolf spirit bowed. Yes, older brother. Thorin's wolf spirit said, This is Thorin's majesty. I have learned many things from him. His brother was just bitten by our eldest brother. The oldest wolf spirit looked at Zarin. That's why I'm here to be his guardian spirit, he said. He will be healed and will harness the power of the wolf. The older wolf spirit went inside Zarin, and Zarin's werewolf bite healed. Zarin opened his eyes and looked at Zarin. Why do I have a wolf spirit inside of me? He asked him. Now you know why I ask questions to myself. Zorin said. Zorin helped Zarin up and Zarin put pressure on his leg. It doesn't hurt anymore, he said. That's because you can heal at a faster pace with your wolf spirit, Zorin told him. It will take a while to get used to it, but it will guide you through difficult tasks. Zorin looked at Zorin. So how long how did you deal with have to deal with your spirit? He asked. I dealt with it for several years. Thorin said. For a while it was corrupted. Then as I made friends with the crafters, it became docile. It knew I wanted to help them. Therefore it helped me channel the power. <clears throat> Zarin closed his eyes and channeled his wolf spirit. He transformed into a red wolf, then backed into a human form. Thorin smiled. You're ready, he told him. The two heroes went into the forest to confront the werewolf. The werewolf approached them and snarled. You dare challenge me, werewolf growled. I have bested hundreds of new crafters before you. We're not new crafters. Thorin said calmly. We're the new OG crafters. Now, Zarin. They transformed into the wolf forms and stood their ground. The wolf spirits took over and snarled at the werewolf. The werewolf backed away but laughed. So, my two little brothers have found their vessels. He gloated. Come to stop me. Your destructive behavior ends here, Balrog, said Soren's wolf spirit. You know the code. The code doesn't mean anything to me now, Darrow. Balrog snarled. I love killing new crafters. I haven't had a better meal for centuries. Zarin's wolf spirit backed in fear. Darrow, his aura is darker than I can imagine. Zarin's wolf spirit told him. I fear Hades has corrupted him beyond saving. I know Anton, said Darrow. We'll have to kill him. Darrow and Anton... Lunged at Balrog. There was a fury of stripes and teeth fighting at fur. Zorin and Zarin watched that from the first person and felt their own bodies getting hurt. Balrog grabbed a sharp branch and stabbed Daro. Daro and Zorin yelled in pain. Anton and Zarin rushed to them. As you can see, said Balrog, I am unstoppable. No one can defeat me. No, but this can said Anton. Anton 
transformed back into Zarin, and Zarin stabbed Balrog in the heart with a silver sword. Balrog looked in at the sword in fear. There's no silver in this world, he gasped. What kind of sorcery is this? The kind where we defeat you, Zarin told him. He took the sword out, and Balrog fell to the ground. Daro looked at the dead body of his eldest brother. You left us no choice, brother, he said sorrowly. He left the dead body and returned to Earth. Crafters waited at the hotel, hoping that Sorin and Zarn defeated the werewolf. The portal opened up, and the two wolves, they saw two wolves come out. They drew their weapons, but hesitated. There'll be no need for weapons, said Daro. The threat is over. Zuma approached Daro's. Daro. So we'll be able to traverse between worlds? He asked. Daro nodded. My eldest brother's bloodshed has come to an end, he told them. Him. Although I fear that there will not be any new crafters for a while. We'll keep the peace. Sorin told him. Daro transformed back into Sorin, then came out of him. Daro's spirit formed a new body and looked at Sorin. My friend, you have given me a new life, said Daro. I am grateful. Anton, it's your turn. Anton left Sor Zarin's body and formed a new body. The two wolf brothers gazed at the crafters. Daro sensed something in the air. Until next time we meet, crafters, said Daro. The wolf brothers disappeared, and the crafters looked at each other. Glad that's over, said Scar. Let's celebrate. As the crafters started celebrating, Zarin gazed at the horizon. Zarin looked at him. Something's bothering you, Zarin said. You have that look in your eyes. Daro could sense something else that we couldn't, Zarin told him. Him and his brother wouldn't meet up with us. If there wouldn't be another threat. But what is it? You're worrying about it too much, brother. Said Zarin. We should celebrate our victory. Zarin nodded. As Zarin led him to the others. Zarin then heard a ringing in his ears. He then fell to the floor. Zuma! Zarin yelled. Get the potion! Come on, Zarin. I'm not losing you again. Zuma rushed over with the potion, and Zarin put the potion in Zorin's mouth. The crafters looked at Zorin as he was dying. No, this can't be happening. Zorin cried, Wake up, Zorin! Zorin opened his eyes, but they were all black. He floated to a stand and looked at the crafters. Enemies of both the Minecraft realm and Earth. Zorin said, You are hereby called upon. To be eliminated from this life. Thorin raised his hands and bolts of lightning struck the area. The crafters rushed out of the hotel, not knowing what happened to Soaring. They fled to a hidden bunker that Exuma created and that Soaring didn't know. What happened to Soaring Zarin? Exuma asked. He's gained new ability. That's not Soaring, said Zarin. That's the admin. He's taken over Sorin's body to eliminate all of us. Luckily, you built this bunker. We'll have to lay low now, said Exuma. Hopefully, Sorin will come back to his senses. And that is the end of The Return of Sorin Majesty. The next book will be call is called The Admin. Thank you so much for listening to the story, and I'll see you all next time.